In today's Hero Central, we are taking a look back to acknowledge childhood cancer and sickle cell disease awareness month. At Children's Healthcare of Atlanta, every child, every family has their own unique way of persevering through diagnosis and treatment. Their stories of strength, nothing short of inspiring. This morning, Liza Lucas introduces us to Andrew Lawrence, who finds his strength in the power of music. Sometimes the beat of a drum is all it takes to change the rhythm of a moment. The hospital, if you think about it, it's already super scary. He's getting poked. He's going to different procedures that are not comfortable for any person, let alone a child. When 10 year old Andrew had a hard time coping with chemotherapy at Children's Health Care of Atlanta, his team decided a little music might be just what the doctor ordered. So Rachel comes in, she's got this nice smile and she's got all of these instruments and she just lit up his day. He really took to her. He took to playing guitar. Andrew has autism spectrum disorder, which can make it even more challenging to understand his treatments at the Aflac Cancer and Blood Disorder Center of Children's. But music therapist Rachel Green noticed music transformed his experience. He started singing and absolutely falls in love with the music in the moment and nothing else matters. And that's the hope that patients like Andrew find emotional comfort through the physical discomfort. In a vulnerable moment, uh, she came in and, and changed that vulnerability. Uh, it made him comfortable. A year after his diagnosis, Andrew is still strumming. His sister Ella, his backup drummer. His connection with music and Rachel remains strong. Music just holds such a safe place for him throughout all of this. Woo! Good job! Absolutely beautiful, Aisha. You know, we talk about music having these healing properties, and this is the prime example of that. That's the exact same thing I was going to say, just how healing music is, and it's also universal. So, you know, you don't want to talk about your diagnosis or what you're yeah. going through. It also seems that's how he's communicating with his sister as well. Yeah. Love that story from Liza. All right.